Hello, and welcome to Art Snacks. Today we're going to draw a Border Collie. And a Border Collie is a kind of dog. There are different classifications of dogs, but a Border Collie is a, what they call a working dog. And they'll work with sheep, or they'll herd cattle, and they're used on farms extensively in Australia and in America. Uh, competitions um, that they have when they get together to see how well the dogs uh, work and how well they can work. It's just a really smart dog. And... Uh, Think about a border collie is they don't always look the same. They can be marked differently, but there are some sort of uh, classical markings that border collies can have. Um, so we're just going to jump right in here and see if we can get started. The other thing is that they get bored easily because they're smart and they have a lot of things on their mind. And if you leave a Border Collie in your house too long with nothing to do, your house might not look the same when you get home. So you got to be careful about that. They're very smart. Wonderful with children. This one's going to have his tongue sticking out a little bit. Why do dogs stick their tongue out and pant? Does anyone know why dogs pant? You can ask your teacher that question, or you could Google why dogs pant see what it tells you. Well, this is a dog that's sort of laying down on the ground. I'm going to place that eye. I was looking for where to put it. So right about here. Mm. The other thing about Border Collies, they're extremely obedient and they bond with their masters and they have amazing energy. They're a very high energy animal. Um, they can just go, go, go. You'll see them doing tricks on TV. They're wonderful with uh, soccer balls and frisbees. The color that you see them in a lot is black and white. This one's going to be black and white. I'm starting with this eye shape, but inside here, I'm going to put a little Now let's go in here and sort of start to Lock the colors in a little bit. And I'm doing it with strokes so it seems more like fur. So I'm sort of defining which direction the fur grows. Around the eye, I'm going to be real careful so I don't color it all the way in. Other side here. Get that down. There we go. I want to keep going on down. I'm going back here into the ear. And the back side of the ear is going to be a little fuzzier. Drawing with a sort of broken line. Find the inside just a little bit. Now we're going to make this stand out and we're going to make it really dark. Now see how this is a medium gray and this is a dark black. So instead of just doing the whole thing, when we're little kids they teach us to color in. And coloring in really doesn't let things stand out one from another. And I'm going to go 
edge of this again and sort of make it fuzzy. Make fuzzy back here too. I'm going to go ahead and bring these strokes on back. Okay. Working our way around the ear. Everything doesn't have to be the same dark black. I mean, the variation is good because fur has highlights. Okay, you might see. I'm going to take this off. And this isn't going to be a full body picture. It's just going to be the head. But now let's get the nose, okay? That's going to be one of the things that really makes it look like a dog. So we're going to go in here. And we're going to sort of draw structures. And the nose kind of comes down the muscle a little ways. Okay, and there's two angles here. It's dark and it's dark. But it's darker here. It's even darker here. This is the nostril. And it's medium gray here. Okay, so you had several things going on there at the same time. As we go up the nose, we'll sort of get a little lift there. Okay. Now in this area, we've got a whole bunch of little small dots. Let the whiskers grow. Now as we come down, let's do this, that mouth area and I'll turn sideways here. Okay, down. Looks like he's smiling, doesn't it? It does. It's got the tongue. Okay, coming down. And the tongue is actually pink, but we're going to make it gray. And we're going to make it get darker back here. Why is it darker back here? It's a shadow created by what? Well, it's going back in his mouth, isn't it? No, there's his gums. It's a little dark there. Okay. This could be sort of reflecting here. Now let's make some more hairs coming off the chin. And this is white fur. This is white fur over here, this way. Okay, if we want to do a little shading under here, we could do that. Fun. Put a little background back here so it doesn't just look like uh, his head there. I'm going to go ahead and take this back a little ways. Take this back a little further. Use the paper that I have. And maybe we could have like a yard back here. Or a field. And a tree or two. When I do these trees, I sort of do a quick little. skeletons of the tree and go in here. Sort of fill them in quick. Every tree is not a Christmas tree and shouldn't be perfectly balanced. And again in this picture I'm not spending too much time focusing on making the trees perfect because okay. A few little trees back there to give me some details. Make it a little bit darker under here. Okay, that's our border color. See you next time.